or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, we are doing Marie Callender's Pot Pies, and I got three flavors we've never tried before, and we're going to see if we like them or not. Um, we're going to taste test them. We're going to tell you what we like or don't like, okay. right, Dad? And let's rate them one out of ten. I think okay. we should rate them one out of ten, okay. like how good they taste to us. Guys, these pot pies are Marie Callender's. I'll tell you which ones we got. We got Marie Callender's beef pot pie. It says premium seasoned beef. Now this is the bigger size pot pie, guys. It says, uh, guys, it says large size. These are 15 ounces, okay? And I know I got these at Kroger's for $3.79, the 15 ounce, the larger size. And um, we got a broccoli and cheddar pot pie, which has premium vegetables and creamy cheddar sauce in this. Now this is a 10 ounce pot pie, so this is like the smaller, like, I think what we're more used to, regular size pot pies, guys. That's this one in the front, you'll see it. And our other one we're trying is Marie Callender's Creamy Mushroom Chicken Pot Pie with okay. white chicken meat, okay? So we're going to try these out and tell you if we like them or not, guys. Let's start with that smaller one, because I know for sure what the smaller one is. And the smaller ones here in Ohio, I think they go for like $3.29 or something like that. But I got this one on sale. They had a sale on them for $2.99. But they're both in the $3 range, the 15 ounce and the 10 ounce. This one's the 10 ounce of this one. Broccoli and cheddar potato pot pie. That sounds pretty, sounds pretty good. Well, I've, oh. never, I've never had that pot pie from them. Neither yeah, have you either. Good. Okay, so I think what's going to happen here... So I'm going to put this on here, and I'm going to get a spoon, and I'm going to drop the box, is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take some and put some on this plate for me. It looks nice and creamy. It's nice and hot. Okay, Deb. So we've let these cool a little bit, but I want you to be super careful, okay? okay. So it's a little warm. Okay. Um, I don't know if you, so if you're new to the channel, go ahead, Dad, and if you need help, you let me know. So if you're new to the channel, we like to make you aware, guys. Dad has macular degeneration. I might have to chop that up for you. You want me to, like, here, I think it'd be easier. Dad, no. Dad has macular degeneration, guys. It's a progressive vision loss. He can see light and he can see dark, but he can't make out detail. His field of vision is a really foggy or a really smoky curtain. He's blind, guys, so this is a true blind taste test for him. And I just think it'll be easier if I kind of like... Chop uh, it up. Chop it up a little bit. That size. Yeah, wait. Well, it's kind of gooey, so it's going to be like kind of like eating... You can add gravy or Yeah, sauce. it's sauce, yeah. like cheese sauce. So it's hot. So I'm just asking, right here's your... Okay. Right here's your spoon. Just, you might want to blow on it a little bit. I see some... Guys, we let these sit for quite a few minutes before we got started. But I see broccoli, I see potatoes in this, and that's what I was going to get to here if I could get, get my box, guys. Broccoli, cheddar, and potato pot pie. Have you had this one, guys? Let me know if you have. I baked them in the oven. You could do all of them in the microwave. I prefer them in the oven because it gets the crust nice and brown and flaky and... I just don't like stuff out of the microwave like that. So, hmm. it's got broccoli in here. I see chunks of carrot. I see potato chunks, real nice potato chunks. It's nice and cheesy. And I was kind of afraid that, like, with the ch cheddar sauce, I was afraid it was going to be too salty. But it's not too salty, is it, Dad? No, it's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this would be considered a vegetarian one, guys. It doesn't have any meat in it. I didn't look to see, but I don't think it has any... I don't think it has any, yeah, it doesn't. I was trying to see if it had any kind of like animal running in it. I don't see any in there. Um, 
there's no like chicken in this or beef in this or anything like that. It's just broccoli, cheddar cheese sauce, potatoes, little chunks of carrot. It's really good. It's not as salty. Like I said, I, I was kind of expecting it to be. I got to get one more bite here. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So, I'm trying to think of how I want to score this. I do have a couple questions for Dad. Okay, Dad, since this doesn't have... I want to ask you a question, okay? okay? Since this doesn't have any meat in it, I mean, could you eat this for lunch and be okay? Would you be like, or would it bug you that you didn't have meat? I don't know. You know, the question is a, a relative question, but uh, I think I think it would be all right. You think you could eat one of these and be okay for like a yeah. small, quick lunch? You know, like a, it's not quick, quick, but I mean, for a small lunch, Without the meat, you think you'd be okay with it? Yeah, with okay. the gravy and the well, sauce. The, it's, it, well, it's not gravy, it's cheese sauce, sauce yeah. Um, the broccoli, though, the broccoli still has some chew to it. Yeah. It's not mushy. The potatoes aren't mushy. No. I thought the cheese sauce was going to be too salty. It's not. This thing's pretty good. Okay, Dad, what kind of score? You got to think about a score for this. I'm trying to think. Like, I asked Dad. If he could eat this for lunch and be okay with it without the meat, okay? Yeah. He says, yeah, for him. Me, on the other hand, I'm a little, I wish I had meat, okay? Um, other than that, I can see maybe eating, like, some meat on the side, like maybe like a little grilled chicken breast or something. If you're trying to watch your calories, I know, but I feel like I need some sort of meat on the side, but I mean, it's a good little pot pie. Dad, what kind of score are you going to give this? It's a, it's a very good, uh, it's cheesy, mm -hmm. and the, the broccoli taste, mm -hmm. and the cheese taste. And the crust tastes good. And the, the veggies, the crust is good. The sauce is good. I, I don't know how to anything about, about it not being good. Okay, well, what score out of 10 would you give it? I give it a nine. You give it a nine? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'm trying to be really honest with myself here. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, is it great? It's pretty good. I'm not sure I'm going to go as high as a nine. Okay. Um, I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. I think it's very good. I recommend it. Especially if you're looking for that pot pie that doesn't have any uh, meat in it. This has a very good taste. The cheese isn't too salty. The broccoli it still has a good uh, the broccoli texture to it. You know what I mean? It's not mushy. Um, I don't like like vegetables that are super mushy tasting or the texture, not so much tasting, the texture. The potatoes, there's plenty of potatoes in this and there's plenty of cheese, guys. This is a very good product. I, I, I'm kind of shocked. It's really I'm, good. I'm kind of shocked. It's really a really good uh, product. Yep. Marie Callender's, she's coming through, guys. She is coming through. Okay, so then I'm, I'm kind of guessing by the gravy coming out of that one. We're going to try the creamy mushroom chicken pot pie next. So what I'm going to do is, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to move that off to the side. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that's what this one is. This one, that one, this one is. What did I just say, guys? I don't even know what I said. I'm guessing what this one is because I see the, the tan, not the tan, but the lighter, like, chicken-looking colored gravy coming out of it. This is the 15-ounce. Um, going to get me a plate. I'm not using my spoon that I ate off of, guys. I'm using a clean spoon. I'm going to get me some stuff out of here and then... Then we're going to get Dad going. Whoo, that's hot. This one's hotter than the other one, Dad. Okay. This is... These these are kind of hard to share. <laughs> but yeah. we're going to do it. I'm just trying to get... I'm trying to get a little bit of every, like, part. <laughs> every little bit of in there. Yeah. And then I'm crunching this up for you and let you go to town. Okay. Okay. 
trying to get that off in there and I can't. Hold on a minute. Give me two seconds. I know you're into it. I know, no, no. Okay. So this one is the creamy mushroom chicken pot pie, guys. Now my thing is, I didn't see much mushroom. I see a green bean in here. I see carrots. There's not much mushroom, guys. I see a little flake of mushroom here, maybe a couple little flakes. I kind of expected it to have more mushroom. Okay, I just want to be straightforward with you on this one. Um, the chicken is the pot pie style, right? It's this little cubed chicken. I kind of wish some of these factories that made these uh, frozen dinners, you know, I kind of wish like in something like this, they would use like shredded chicken instead of this cube chicken. For some reason, cube chicken just makes me automatically think of that frozen chicken. Okay, so let's go with the taste of this thing. It is hotter, but it seems warmer since it's a deeper dish. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, yeah. Like I said, there's green beans in here. I should have looked on the picture. It shows green beans. Carrots. It shows a heck of a lot more mushrooms on the picture than what I'm seeing in here. I really don't taste any mushroom. Do you taste mushroom? I can't taste any mushroom. Mm -mm. Uh, if you blindfolded me, I would think this was a chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie, and it tastes pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> It's not salty either, so I'm very, very thankful for that. I used to, back in the day, that's part of the reason why I didn't like frozen foods, because it would be super salty, and I had a feel, I had a thing with that, guys. When I was younger and even after I got older, if it's super salty, I just, it, I don't enjoy it, okay? So it's not super salty. I don't know what the, what preservatives are putting in here to not make it salty, but the only thing is, is, Does it taste enough like chicken to you, or does it taste kind of a little bland to you? I love the crust. But I feel like it's, it's like missing something. <laughs> the salt. <laughs> no, I got a mushroom right now. Mm -hmm. There's just not many. But if I didn't tell you there was mushrooms in that, no, you probably you wouldn't, know. wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Mm -mm. I wouldn't know. And maybe my taste is off, guys. Uh, last couple days of it, I, about two days ago, from the time you've seen this video, um, about two days ago, I had a sore throat one day. And then the next day, I woke up, and uh, that's why you probably missed a video of ours. Um, I didn't put out a video. We didn't go anywhere. I stayed home. Um, the next day I woke up and I could barely talk and my throat was super sore and I was really tired and I was just, I was miserable. Okay. I was miserable. I was, I was grouchy with myself. I was grouchy with dad. I was grouchy with the cats. I was just miserable. But today I woke up and I felt much better. But I sure didn't want to go back outside. I think what brought it on was I got click list, uh, Kroger's click list the other night, the other evening. And, uh, you know, went and got it and then had to bring all the stuff inside, you know. And I think just breathing that cold air, because it was super cold that night. It was like 8 degrees, but it, the wind chill was like zero, okay. So, um, just breathing that cold air I think is what brought all that on. But I'm feeling much better today and we're trying to be safe about not spreading anything to dad. And I think we're doing a pretty good job. He says he's been feeling good. Um, but I think my taste is off just a little bit. Okay, Dad. We got one more to try. I don't want you to fill up too much. Uh, All right. So, same thing with this. The green beans have good integrity. The carrots have good integrity. I wish it had more mushrooms because that's what this creamy mushroom chicken. Okay. Now, I did grab about the chicken being in cubes, but the texture's pretty good on the chicken. It's not spongy. It tastes like real chicken. 
Now, I don't know if it's just me or not, but it just tastes a little bland. Like I'm, I'm missing. It's just something. I don't know what that something is, but I feel like I'm missing something. But, like I said, I can blame that on my cold, right? Um, even though I'm cleared up, you know. But, I don't know. Um, I, I'm really interested to hear Dad's opinion on this. I can get it. I, I broke it once, but no. It tastes good. It tastes good to you? Uh, it's all good. Okay. So you agree with me it's not too salty? No, it is not I'm a not, bit salty. I'm going to set that over there in the lid. It's not too it's salty. Good, um, and the veggies are good. The crust is good. Yeah. The chicken is good. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the veggies are... Uh, what the veggies is in there? Carrots and green beans. Green beans, I tasted them, and they're, they're really good in that sauce. Yeah, but that sauce is it's, it's, similar, similar. Well, it's creamy. Um, I guess my other grape is when I seen mushroom, creamy mushroom chicken is what they're calling it. There's hardly any mushroom in this, guys. Hardly any mushroom in this. No. So I'm kind of wishing that. Dad, um, give me another one. Yeah, cause I'm afraid. <laughs> one. I, I'm afraid you're gonna start wiping your stuff on my stuff, and I don't want to pass anything to you. Okay, so, um, I'm trying to think of an honest score, Dad. What, what, what's? So you really like this one? I really like this one. I like the other one. <laughs> Okay, so you felt how big this bowl was. So do you like kind of like this large, that larger size? I, I think like is it. more. I more like more. it better because it's more of it. Yeah, I think the larger. I can set and eat this whole uh, whole yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, I think that fifteen ounce thing would be the size Dad would need. I would just need that ten ounce thing. But you know, that's just your appetite size. But I um, would like the I would like the, the, the broccoli. Sauce in the in the in this uh, chicken sauce. And I like the both of them. I know, but we can't tell them how to make a new one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind of score would you give this creamy mushroom chicken? Now remember, it's supposed to have mushroom in it, so I'm I'm kind of being hard here. I'm uh, I'm being hard I'm on my score. Because uh, this seems more like just a chicken pot pie to me. But it's not, it's not saying that on this box, okay? It's saying that it's supposed to be creamy mushroom chicken pot pie, okay? Um, if I was rating this as a chicken pot pie, I'd give it a nine. Yeah. I would give it a nine. But I'm not rating this as a chicken pot. It's, a, it's not advertising that, guys. It's advertising creamy mushroom chicken pot pie. Now, I'm being rough on it, but I'm, I'm being serious as well. If you went in a store and thought, oh, creamy mushroom chicken pot pie, that sounds so good. Well, the mushrooms, you're going to get let down by the mushroom. You're going to you're gonna get let down. You couldn't taste the mushroom. I, I agree with you. Um, I agree with that uh, assessment. Uh, um, the mushrooms are very far between. Yeah, what score would you give this thing? I mean, we can only rave about it, talk about it so much. What score would you give this thing? I'd give it an 8.5. Yeah. 8.5. That's exactly what I was thinking. I would give it an 8.5. I would easily give it a 9 if it had a little more mushroom flavoring in it or oh, mush mushrooms. I'd give it a something. lot more than that. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if, it, uh, if it had the fulfillment of the quality of uh, the product, mm -hmm. the product of the sign says mushroom. Gravy. Yeah, creamy, creamy mushroom. Yeah, and it yeah. just doesn't. It's not coming through on now. So it's not. It's not a, a bit. It's not coming through on that. <laughs> but it is very good. Um, it is very good. I'm telling you. If you just like a little bit of mushroom, then this is going to be your thing. The creamy mushroom pot pie, guys. If you like just a little bit of mushroom, it's going to be your pot pie. Um, it's, but if you wanted a lot of mushroom, you're going to be let down. That's, I guess that's the easiest assessment we could give that. Okay, so we're going to try and try this beef one. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put the beef one over here. I'm going to use the same spoon. This is the other spoon we dipped in, guys. I did not eat off in this, okay? 
We just don't have we're we're running low on silverware and I don't know where the I don't know where the silverware is going, guys. I guess I'll have to blame it on me. I don't know. But let me get some dipped out and I'll get you chopped up, Dad. Oh, I got it on the table, that's for sure. This is pretty warm too, so watch, watch when you first take your bite, okay? okay? This is pretty warm. Okay, so this is the beef pot I pie can smell it. with premium seasoned beef, guys. This is the 15 ounce as well. And if you didn't catch the price, here in Ohio, $3.79 for these 15 ounce, the bigger, the larger size pot pies. I'm, I'm interested. So it says it's two servings. Uh, this is two servings, but Dad could easily eat one. So it's a good thing we're sharing them. <laughs> so the beef is in cubes as well. Let's get, I'm trying to get a taste of this for it. Okay, naturally this one's a little bit saltier because it's got that beef flavor. It's got that little more that brown gravy has a little more salt in it. It's got potatoes in this. Oh, you're underneath the bowl, Dave. There you go. I'm underneath. Yeah, it was underneath the bowl. Um, the box shows carrots, guys. I don't see any carrots. I think the carrot person fell asleep. Seen a few potatoes. There's quite a few chunks of beef in it, which is I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. It's also got like celery in it. Now, I usually don't like cooked celery. I'm trying to overlook that to see if I even taste it, but I see it on my fork here. I like the stuff that's cooked in celery. What's got cooked celery in it? The crust is really good. Oh yeah. And the beef flavor of this has a good beefy flavor. It's not just super salty. I mean, it's got that salt. It's got that salt content, but it's not overly salty. Oh, pretty good. It's got a, a beef flavor. Trying to make up my mind here. I'm trying to make up my mind. I'm not trying to compare them, okay? I'm trying to make up my mind. I'm a little let down on this one too because I see no carrots. It had a few little chunks of potato. It had quite a few chunks of beef in here and good sized chunks of beef. Um, the beef was a little spongy, but not bad, not bad. The beef gravy isn't too salty, but it has a little salt content. It has a good beefy flavor. Um, like I said, I'm not big on like cooked celery or whatever, but it I I didn't taste it much. I, so yeah, I feel a little let down because I don't see any carrots in this, but I like the flavor of it. What do you think about it, Dale? It's got a good flavor. Mm -hmm. It's got a good taste to it. The crust is good. Yeah. I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> the crust is good. It's got a good beefy flavor. You didn't taste any carrots. Did you taste any I carrots? I didn't taste any carrots. No, I didn't taste no carrots. I didn't see no carrots. So how do you like, I mean... The beef is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the crust is good. Mm -hmm. The sauce is good. I'd rather have the chicken than the, yeah. uh, the, uh... The chick, you'd rather have like the chicken pot pie, or you'd rather have chicken over the beef, is that what you're trying to say? Chicken and, uh... What it is creamy mushroom, but it doesn't have the mushroom. I oh. hate to advertise it as that, but that's what they advertise it as. But you'd rather have that chicken one over this right, beef one? Right, Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I, I would, I would. 
it's the best it's the best of uh, the two. Um, I'm kind of on the fence here, guys. I was let down because I felt like the chicken one was a little bland. But on this one, I feel like it's got a good beefy flavor. I, I mean, I think this one's good. What score would you gonna, would you give this beef one out? I'd give it an 8. 8? I'm going to give it a 9. A 9 out of 10. They're, they're good products, guys. Um, it's a good product. It's a good. I can say it either. I can say it either one. Yeah. Either well, any of them. And all three of them, yeah. Yeah. So, Dad, you ready to let these guys go? Yes. yes. Okay, guys. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.